Hello, welcome to this short and snappy training on Girl Scout cookie booths. My name is Lori and I'm a Troop Experience Manager with Girl Scouts. Thank you for joining me. This short and snappy will last approximately 10 minutes. Through this short and snappy, you will learn what a Girl Scout cookie booth is and why they are important, how to prepare for your cookie booth, etiquette guidelines and financial best practices, and how to participate in the annual Bling Your Booth contest. So let's dive right in. Girl Scout cookie sales are not just a fundraiser for troops in our council. By selling cookies, your girls are part of the largest girl-led business in the world. Through the Girl Scout cookie program, girls develop five essential skills, goal setting, decision making, money management, people skills, and business ethics all of which help them succeed today and in the future. They grow their confidence and practice leadership too. Cookie booths are an optional and fun part of our cookie program, giving girls an opportunity to sell cookies in the community. Booths give girls a firsthand experience of running a business, creating the marketing, practicing their people skills, and managing the money. Arranging a cookie booth depends on where you live. In the KC metro area, we have a cookie booth lottery for locations in Cass, Clay, Jackson, and Platt counties in Missouri, and Johnson and Wyandotte counties in Kansas. For more information on how to schedule a booth through the council lottery system, please consult your Troop Cookie Manager handbook. For areas outside of Kansas City, Talk to your service unit product sales manager about how cookie booths are scheduled locally. For all areas, we ask that you not individually contact businesses listed on our no-call list found in your cookie manager handbook. If you have a personal connection with a local business, you are welcome to arrange a cookie booth there, as long as you are in compliance with local ordinances and the business is one that girls would be welcome to frequent. These individually arranged locations should be approved by the council. If you schedule a booth on your own or through your service unit, make sure you enter it in Smart Cookies by following the directions in your cookie manual. By completing this step, your booth will load to the National Cookie Booth Finder app with GSUSA. You may just gain a few extra customers. Cookie booths take some preparation. Once you have secured your location, make sure you're prepared by following these guidelines. Prepare for the weather. Most cookie booths are outside, so make sure girls and adults are prepared to combat cold or wind or rain or snow or all of the above. With the proper attire and supplies to keep cookies dry and money from blowing away. Ask the girls to wear their sash or vest over their coat. Make sure you have enough girls and adults to staff the cookie booth. A booth should have one to four girls and two adults. Even if there is only one girl present, you still need two adults so that one is always at the table and one is with the girl. You should never have a booth without any girls present, nor should you allow non-registered siblings or tags to stay. If you have a large troop, consider splitting your booth time into smaller increments. A typical booth slot lasts two hours. You might create four half hour blocks within the booth time so that everyone has the chance to participate in booth sales and no one gets too bored. Cookie booths allow for girls to get creative. Create signs and props to help draw attention to your booth. Dollar store balloons, colorful tablecloths, and posters displaying your troop goals are all great ways to spruce up a card table. You can find poster templates on our website under Cookies Plus or have girls make their own. Review, review booth etiquette with girls before you get to your booth. Girls should be friendly and respectful and stay with the booth. They should never be running around the store or parking lot or blocking the store entrance or pathways. If your booth is outside, invite girls to create songs and cheers and chants to attract attention to your booth. If your booth is inside, skip the singing and make sure that girls minimize their volume. Ask customers politely as they approach without yelling to get their attention. Ensure you have enough cookies for your booth. 
In high traffic areas, we estimate troops sell an average of 50 boxes per hour, depending on what varieties you've stocked, how much promotion you've done, and the weather. Thin Mints are a must. They are our number one selling cookie and account for 25% of all sales. You'll also want to make sure you have our other top selling varieties. In 2018, the average sales of our other varieties were 15% peanut butter patties, tied with 15% caramel delights, 11% lemonades, 10% peanut butter sandwich, 9.5% s'mores, tied again, 6% shortbreads, and 6% thanks a lots, and bringing up the rear, just a half a percent of gluten-free cookies. Ahead of your booth, you'll also want to make sure you have plenty of change in fives and tens. Do not ask the store to make change for you. You'll also need a money box to securely keep your money. Keep in mind that at outdoor booth locations on a windy day, keeping money safe can be problematic. Make sure your dollar bills don't fly away when you open the box. Allow girls to receive cash and make change, but have them hand the money to a volunteer for safekeeping and to store in the money box. Keep the money box in a safe place behind the barrier of cookies, but not out of your line of vision. This is especially important when setting up and closing down when things tend to get a little chaotic. Make a plan to deposit your cookie money from the booth sale as soon as possible. And you can also reduce your cash transactions and the amount of cash you have on hand by offering credit card payment options. Girls love swiping a card on a square or other device. Lastly, plan to bring a table and chairs to your booth location if it is not provided by the store. For most locations, you'll need to bring your own. Bring the posters and signs you made and tape to secure them to the table or a wall behind you. Make sure that before you tape anything to a storefront that you have permission to do so. You'll also want to have some sort of way to move cookies to and from your car efficiently. A cart or hand truck are useful if you have them. Lastly, don't forget the first aid kit. On the day of your booth, be ready to go at your start time and ready to finish at your end time, especially if you're at a location where other troops are before or after you. Be friendly and always say thank you, even if the answer is no from a potential customer. Have fun and be respectful and watch your sound volume. Avoid shouting at customers. Ensure that girls stay with their booth. If someone needs to go to the bathroom, make sure one adult stays with the booth while the other takes the girl or girls to the bathroom. Leave a, the area better than you found it. This is a Girl Scout mantra and it doubly applies during cookie sales. Make sure you take all your trash and supplies with you when you go. Do not overload the build, business's trash can with your empty cookie cases. Finally, consider keeping a tracking sheet of what cookies you sold at the booth. Girls enjoy keeping track of their inventory. After the booth, make sure to give girls who worked the booth credit for their sales that day. You can do this by using the Smart Divider tool in Smart Cookies or a Troop to Girl Transfer. Instructions for both methods are found in your Troop Cookie Manager handbook. No doubt your troop will put a lot of effort and creativity into making an attractive and attention-grabbing cookie booth. Why not share your hard work with others? Consider entering our annual Bling Your Booth contest. The contest provides a great opportunity for girls to learn how to market a cookie booth and for the troop to win some great prizes. Watch our Facebook pages, Cookie Grams, and the S'more e-newsletter for more information on how to submit your booth to the contest. For more cookie resources, consult your Troop Cookie Manager handbook and our website under the Cookies Plus tab. Make sure you also read each and every CookieGram email you receive. These will guide you through your next steps with ease. I hope you've enjoyed this short and snappy on Girl Scout cookie booths. To recap, we learned what a cookie booth is and why they are important, how to prepare for your cookie booth, etiquette guidelines and financial best practices, and how to participate in the annual Bling Your Booth contest. Thank you so much for taking the time to increase your knowledge as a Girl Scout troop leader or cookie manager. 
If you have questions about this short and snappy or ideas for additional topics, please let us know by emailing troopexperience at gsksmo.org. Here's to a great cookie season. Thanks so much.